We're out here in central Alabama along the edge of Lay Lake, a man-made lake along the Coosa River. And today on this beautiful warm day, sunshine after a ton of rain, we are on the trail of pond turtles. Pond turtles are an incredibly diverse group. There's all different types. Most of them are freshwater species, but there are some that are brackish. That means that they uh, can survive in a mix of salt water and fresh. Now, the reason we're out today is number one, it's nice and warm, so the turtles are gonna be out and basking. Uh, and number two, um, we just had a series of storms come through this area of central Alabama. Uh, pretty wicked storms. Uh, that was not a fun time, but all of the rain that those storms dumped, that had the effect of flooding some of the local areas. So a lot of these low-lying areas are flooded and that encourages turtles to move from one area to another because there's tons of wetland for them to go through. So the turtles are gonna be up and moving around and active and that's what we're after. Sometimes these guys, when they get washed up here after a storm, we've had a lot of rains, they get stuck upside down in the mud. There's nothing they can do. The sun comes out, they heat up, they bake, and they pass away. But that gives us an opportunity. Well, this has got bones in it. Oh, there's the skull right there of this little turtle. And uh, some of the other bones, some of the leg bones there. Whoops. What else we got? Oh, here's the pelvis. Here's the hip bones. Um, fun fact about these pond turtles, and that is that their, their plasterin is rigid. There's no hinge here. Uh, this plasterin is not flexible at all. What that means is that when these guys want to protect themselves, they have to literally take their arms and pull their arms in tight and press them up against kind of their face, tucking their head in really tight, kind of like this. Uh, they got to squeeze in like this, uh, like that. And what that does is that allows their armored kind of a, uh, uh, where their hands are right here, that part of their, of, their, of their leg, it allows that part which is armored to kind of act as a shield and protect them from anything that's trying to get at them. Uh, their back legs kind of tuck in and do the same. These guys, when they're adults, they tend to, as they're young, they'll feed on insects, a lot of invertebrates, maybe some dead fish they'll scavenge, and some vegetation. But as these guys mature, many of these pond turtles go exclusively to a vegetarian diet. But that's very different from another type of pond turtle called the box turtle. The box turtle is actually a terrestrial pond turtle and it approaches things a little bit differently. Check out this video that I shot just a few months ago. So, I come hiking up and uh, pause for a moment, scanning the area around me, you know, checking things out, and I see a little movement of a thing of grass, and lo and behold, I see this little guy right here. Here's a male eastern box turtle. And you can tell he's a male, he's not gonna come out now. He's all shy, look at him in there. He's so cute. So he actually has red eyes. That's one of the ways you can tell the male. The other way is see how this, the back part of this, uh, his carapace right here is flanged out. It's flared out. Females typically don't have that. And then if you tip them underneath, this bottom part of his plasteron right there is concave. It's curved inward. That allows during mating season, if this were the female box turtle, if his, if his plasteron were flat, then he would try to mount up for mating and he'd like slide off and it would be, but that concavity right there, that little indentation allows him to kind of nestle in and be able to maintain his balance. So that's really pretty cool. So this is a male Eastern box turtle. Uh, now normally these guys are eating funguses and earthworms and things like that. But when they can, a little known fact is that they will actually scavenge roadkill. They will scavenge dead things. Well, that was the other thing. was that I found 
this sitting right next to him. And that is a dead um, gray rat snake. That's a dead gray rat snake. Um, I don't know if someone up here decided, hey, that's a snake and they gotta kill it. Uh, no, no, these are rat snakes. Rat snakes are good. They're gonna eat rats, mice, things that will spread disease. Anyway, this guy was over here and he was literally munching on it. He was getting a little snack. You don't often think of, of a little turtle like that as being something that would scavenge dead stuff, but indeed that's what's going on. So there's our little rat snake. I'm gonna put him back. And here's our little box turtle. I'm gonna put him back. And I'm gonna leave them alone and I'm gonna let him have his snack. So how do box turtles get the name box turtle? Check it out. The plastron right here actually has a hinge right there in the middle. And that allows this box turtle to be able to open and close, open and close its, its the, the plastron, open and close its shell. So if we take this box turtle, this box turtle shell right here, you can see that that fits in just like that. And this one fits in just like, if I can do it, I'm not as good at this as a box turtle is. Come on, get in there. That one goes like that. And this one sits in just like this. And voila, the turtle's shell is closed. After a couple of hours of hiking around and searching, finally, I had success. <laughs> oh, nice. I got a pond turtle. This is, I'm pretty sure, wow, what kind of turtle is that? That's a great question. He's all tucked in there. This is a male, I know that for sure. This is a pond turtle. This is a male pond turtle, and you can tell that because of these really long claws right there. Those really long claws tell me that this is a, a male pond turtle because when these guys court, their courtship is really kind of fun. What happens is the females will swim up, and then the males will swim right up nose to nose with them, and they take those long, those really, really long front claws, and they come up and they tickle their cheeks like this. They go, dee, 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 and they tickle their cheeks, and that's their way of courting the females. And uh, I'm pretty sure the markings on this one are really obscure. It's pretty well beat up. It is also beginning to shed, like any other reptile, these guys will shed their skin and you can see that this outer shell right in here, it's really dull, but underneath right there, you can see it's a darker, that's where this old skin is beginning to slough off of this shell and uh, leaving that, that brighter new shell underneath. So uh, I'm pretty sure this is, a, this is a river cooter. Fairly common in this area. We're right along the edge of a river here. There's a small tributary coming in. With all the rains that we've been having, these guys tend to be up and moving around. Uh, they tend to be kind of crossing from one body to the other. The ground is wet enough and the creeks are full enough that these guys feel safe moving from one body of water to another. So he must have been crossing over through this area, coming into this, uh, this larger river over here. So pretty sure this is a river cooter. It's a male, uh, looks in really good shape. And he's nice and shy. Look at him, he's all tucked in. Like, I'm not gonna come out and say hello, I'm just not. Uh, different from uh, some of the other pond turtles, like the box turtle. Box turtle is a terrestrial pond turtle. I know that sounds like an oxymoron, but they're a terrestrial turtle. Uh, but they have a, a con, the males have a concave plastron. This bottom shell is concave, and that's to allow them to mount the female on land and, uh, and not just fall off. It gives them a little bit more stability, more balance during mating. The pond turtles, the true pond turtles, like this river cooter, doesn't have that problem. Their plastron is nice and smooth. There's no concavity. That's because their mating takes place in the water. Um, and so they don't have to worry about balance. They just kind of grab a hold and maintain their position with the female and they do okay. 
All right, so there's a beautiful little pond turtle. I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. All right, say goodbye. Awesome pond. Awesome pondy. Yeah. It's a pond turtles, an incredible part of God's creation, an amazingly diverse group of animals. I mean, a terrestrial pond turtle? Who'd have thunk it? It's just cool, cool stuff. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Greg Thompson, and hey, I'll see you on the trail.